that's effects. What's up, going? What's up, everybody? Hey, uh, we're I'm coming on today because we talked about a little. We touched a little bit on this uh, on the last live podcast that we had some people that we noticed asking about what they take in the bag, what you need, what you don't need uh, to the track. So we touched on it a little bit. Uh, we had a lot going on that night, so I just thought I'm bored and uh, looks like racing's canceled for this weekend, unfortunately. So Thunder Roads end of the point series will be on the 12th now instead of the 5th. It will be, I think, the third time we're trying to get this in. And the race and treats uh, where he gives you the big old delicious cookie for winning, that's going to be rescheduled to the 19th at Thunder Road Hobby. So you can check that out. Anyways, so I'm bored. So I want to go over a video of what I take to the track now. Uh, I used to have two full-size bags, a little bit like this one. Uh, it was uh, getting to be with the car, with me and Zippy both traveling together a lot. You know, the car's getting full. So I kind of, you know, condensed down, just taking the, the bare necessities now. So we'll start with, like, kind of showing you my bag. Um, I really like the Atomic bag. Uh, it's got uh, my favorite thing about it. The handle is here, and it comes out like that. So it's like you're uh, like a suitcase more, you know, where the wheels are on this side like that. Uh, I ain't gonna lie, you know, sometimes it hits the back of your foot while you're walking and uh, it will tip over pretty easy. So that's the only downfall to that. I, I have the other one with the wheels in the back and the handle in the back. And it seems like when I pull that one, that one seemed to tip back and forth like that. So I think this is the better of the two out of, out of that option. So of course it's got pockets all around. It's got a pocket on the back. They want a big one on the back for all your uh, setup sheets, stuff like that. And then, uh, of course, just like any other bag, it's got your top. So I guess I'll just go into what I have in here, I suppose. So right off the bat, I got all my batteries always stored in a nice battery bag. I do suggest that. Um, I think they're like 20 bucks, maybe 25 or something like that, but could save the day for you, you know, if you ever have an issue. So that's right on the top there. Um, it never looks this organized, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I haven't raced for a little while, so uh, yeah, I had time to go through it before I did this, of course. So I got uh, the basics. You got one toothbrush to clean your uh, shocks, you know, get in there and clean all that dirt out of there. I got a second toothbrush that's designated just for tire tire prep, and uh, I'm simple. So it, uh, my tire prep bottle is purple for talent in a bottle, that's what I use. And so I have a purple toothbrush, so I make sure I know which one is for which. Pretty simple there. Uh, basically, I got all your kind of tapes you need. Of course, you want to, you know, I really like taking some of this uh, super strong clear packing tape because sometimes if your uh, if your um, graphics are coming off the bottom corners here, you know, like while you're at the tracks, and you know, you can wrap this stuff around that to the backside, and it'll hold that sticker on there really good. Uh, so I suggest having some of that. Always Gorilla Tape, man. You will start with a full roll and. Um, I can't tell you how many people will be stealing this from you at the track. So you'll be a popular guy if you have a full roll of Gorilla Tape. It holds anything and everything. And of course, you know, your basic electrical tape and your two-sided scotch tape. Uh, it's the gray. Some guys think that's a little aggressive. I think there's a, uh, I think it's black, I believe. It's a little bit lighter version of this, but this stuff, super strong, good stuff. Um, always keep yourself some sandpaper. You know, you don't gotta take a lot. I always just keep a chunk off the edge there. I think this is like uh, 220 grit, I believe. You know, just some fine grit stuff in case you got uh, like your uh, hinge pins. If the hinge pins get locked up at the track, I like a real fine sand, you know, sandpaper to kind of get them nice and clean and working well. So it's just a little piece of sandpaper. Whew, that's a lot of talking already. All right, so your camera gauge, make sure you always have that with you. Very nice to have. Of course, your basic set of pliers. Again, I, I'm pr pretty basic. I just got side side dykes, side cutters, needle nose, and a bigger set of pliers if I really need something to hog down on something, you know. I always carry a uh, flathead giant screwdriver. This is giant in the RC world, so that's why I called it that. Uh, this really helps. <laughs> this uh, two-sided tape is so strong. This is about the only thing you're going to get the thing off the car with, like if you're removing your ESC or whatever. This is some strong stuff, so... I always have that, and I have a pretty decent size, I'd say like a smaller Phillips, I guess, but bigger in our world, but uh, for some of your chassis screws, like for your bumper and stuff, you might need that. Uh, here's one area that I really, uh, really cut down on. 
I didn't even realize it. They just been building up over time. I had like four sets of wrenches in my box that I've never even, I didn't even, I forgot they were in there. You know, they're down the bottom. I never use them. Uh, ever since I went with the MIPs, I do recommend this. I've been through, like I said, about four sets of tools. I went with the MIPs. Uh, I have had no issues with fitment or anything. These things are nice. I haven't stripped any screws out, no tip or broken off yet. Very good set of uh, set of gear there. Highly recommend it. Uh, the cases here that I'm, I have these in are from a different brand. I have to lie, you know, I kind of stole the cases since I didn't like the wrenches. So I like to keep them nice and they're nice and safe, you know, they're not that cheap. And then I just got my basic set of drivers. Same situation. Just the basic ones I need now. You know, I think I took out, I think I counted over 15 different things I wasn't using. So that really cut down a lot on my size. All right. I'm not gonna really go into detail what all this junk is, but you know, basically it's, they're just different. You get these at your, uh, at Walmart, you know, at the fishing department, they're just different kinds of uh, compartments for all my screws. I mean, I got every little thing you can, you can imagine. My Racer RX um, fasteners, looking good. Same thing with it. It's just all different varieties of just miniature junk that needs to be kept in a safe place. So that's what I use there. And most of all, don't forget a very good, uh, don't want to cover the name up, very good ride height gauge. I, you know, I got me a nice Murph dog here. Uh, Matt Murphy, I think, still has some of these. If you want to get, you know, I think they're uh, maybe 25, 30 bucks. I, I'm not sure, but get a hold of him if you want one. They work great. Always have that and that camber gauge right there by each other. Okay, trying to make this quick, but there's a lot of stuff. Imagine if I had the two boxes to show you. <laughs> This is where all the this is where all the beef is sitting there. So again, I just went to the fishing department. You know they're real cheap, couple bucks a piece. And I have them basically you know labeled for each uh, whatever it is. I got bottom ones, gears. This one's all my parts for my custom works. You know late models and my sprint car. And then of course I got this at Walmart. A lot of guys like this pit light, and I'll tell you what, man, I've been happy so far. I even left it in the rain one time. It still works. Really nice LED light. Uh, I think I got it on walmart.com and I believe it was uh, 18 bucks or something like that. Okay, so nice and cheap and it fits in here nice and tight. Always have a six way in your box. I don't care even if you take another one, always have a six way in your box. <laughs> you never know what's gonna happen there. Same thing, uh, parts, well this one's kinda cool. I'll show you this one. This one keeps what I like to call like my, my little kind of specialty stuff I suppose more tools, you know, that are just a little smaller. Good body reamer. That's always, a, you know, very good to have. You know, go get you a set of, set, set of these guys there at uh, Harbor Freight. You can get them there real cheap. They're real nice to get in. They got, the, you know, different side or different angles there of them and whatnot. Of course, all your markers so you can label your rims. I got this little guy here. It's my AKA. Uh, this is for putting in my drill and you can put your tire with your uh, hex on there so that you can, uh, grind down your tire or, or prep it, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> uh, and of course, some skizzers. That's it for that. Oh, you know, well, yeah, miniature screwdriver. Anyway, that's it. All right. This is the good box here, I think. So we're in the Midwest here. So it's that time of the year where I think you always want to put yourself a nice little pair of stretchy gloves in your box and a hat. Because I mean, around here i mean it was 85 degrees two days ago and now i think it's 65 or something like that so or 56 or somewhere in there so it's cold now you see i'm in a hoodie and pants and boots and pants and boots so anyways always have that in your box here if you're around our area in the midwest uh always have a koozie you know i'm i love my koozie so we always have that backup koozies Always, thanks to my man Ziffy, he hooked me up with these bad boys. You always gotta have some headache medicine or some ibuprofen handy. <laughs> you never know how you'll feel at the track. <laughs> of course, your tire prep. That's my uh, good old talent bottle. My tire wash with my uh, brush in there. I got a lot of stuff in, the, in this one little drawer. I got a backup motor, you know, and, and then I got a tote here where I got all my uh, shock oils and my, you know, just my lubrication stuff, anything that I got. You know, anything lube there. And of course, good old clear Gorilla Glue. This stuff and that tape will get you through anything, I promise. It'll get you through a race day if something major happens. 
All right, so I'll show you on the, uh, another thing that I did to light my box a lot when I, I brought up shock oil. Uh, I'm down to running one car now. Uh, I used to run at, at times three and I had SE Mod, you know, at one point. So I had all these different cars. And again, I didn't even realize it, but one drawer in one of my boxes was completely taken up by shock oils. So I'm with one car now. I, I pretty much run two to three different weights. You know, I pretty much stay in that realm. Uh, so I mean, this is what I took out of my box, you know, and I mean, the weight of that, you know, it's just all about, I'm getting old and <laughs> I don't like weight. So that's what I'm trying to do, lighten everything up. Well, I mean, that's a lot. So, you know, take those out if you don't need them. That's just something I overlook forever, you know? So, okay. Uh, basically, this is just my electronics box. I got a lot of these babies, man. Go to Walmart. They're cheap. Lots of rags, my car stand. I got the backup. I got my uh, black box for my ESC, my programmer. And of course, you know, I got the oops, upside down. I always have that in my uh, box, of course. Uh, yeah. If you need, I got a backup ESC usually sitting in there too. I don't have one right now, but usually I do. Always try to have backups. Uh, down here, this drawer is a little janky. I ain't gonna lie, but that's where I keep my race day tires. Um, again, that was another. That's another thing I was uh, uh, shrinking down. Was the other box had all my tires in it, uh, so I took all the tires out. Again, just running the one car now, so I'm just deciding to take like maybe two to three sets that I figure will work where I'm going. Hopefully that doesn't mess me up, but you know, trying to trying to book now. So that's where that'll go. And then on this side, that's just my charger. I got a really nice, I, I love this charger setup. It's the iCharger uh, 406. I keep that in a box. And then I got my power supply broke down right here, all my cords and the little stand for my charger on there, all right there in one little box. I, I love that setup being able to fit it in there. All right, that's, I told you this is a yeah. Give it a little love. All right, so that's basically my box. A couple other quick things. Uh, these are things you definitely want to always take with you. And, you know, in my opinion, simple grain and some CRC, you know, in case you get like in a real dirty track situation and you want to get that motor cleaned out, you know, between rounds or whatever, you, you know, this is the stuff you need. Uh, here's another thing I uh, sized down on too. I used to take this in my box. Now, again, this is pretty heavy. I love this little thing. You don't want a close up of these junk motors or nothing, but that's basically what it is. It's my it's my motor box. And again, I was taking motors that I know I've had in here for five years and they're no good. You know, so it's like, okay, it's time to put the old medicine pill box back here on the shelf because that's heavy. So that's basically what I did shrink down my box. I hope that helps some of you guys. Uh, one quick, I just found this on, um, a main hobbies one day I went through their tool section was just having fun looking at some of their new tools and I wanted to throw out a little shout to uh, yay racing uh, get in there and get that logo this is something that I love I, I don't like washing bearings I hate it actually <laughs> if I had enough money I just buy new ones every time but this guy right here uh, for your like your ball disc is what I use this the most for but you put them in there obviously you put it cleaner in here but you notice it has a beveled edge on the bottom so when it sits on the bottom, the sediment actually will go to the bottom of the jar instead of your stuff don't sit in the sediment. So that is a super cool invention right there. And man, I mean, I put that CRC in here. I put my dip ball, you know, the dip balls in there, man. Shake it up like that. Let it sit for maybe 15 minutes. Great product. I think, it, I don't remember what I picked. I think it was like eight, nine bucks. It's not much. So check it out on a, um, a Main Hobbies. A big little shout out there. Other than that, Thanks for uh, tuning in. Uh, don't forget t-shirts, Circle Jerk shirts. Uh, just get a hold of us any way you can, or, you know, PM us, whatever, email us. Just put a message on Facebook, whatever you want. We'll get to you. And uh, look forward to seeing everybody at the end of the, the points series on the 12th. And of course, if you can make it to the race and treats on the 19th. And we are still trying to plan this uh, six pack 60 race. I think it's getting a little bit more serious by the day here. So uh, look forward to that. And we hope we can get, I, I mean, we hadn't really talked with our entry, but I think our expectations are around, I mean, I'd like to see 15 guys or so. All right. So everybody, thanks for tuning in and uh, have a good one.